Hey guys, welcome to the House of Bliss. I'm Brandy and I just left my mailbox and I wanted to open some of my new items that I just received with you all. So let's get started. I think you're truly something special. The first thing is this box that I don't even person that it sent from international cosmetics and perfumes like where in the world like what is that so I take it some type of fragrance but I haven't ordered a fragrance let's see what it is together forgive me I don't have any makeup on I just left the pool um this is me oh what is it oh natural <laughs> anyway so this is what's inside so what is this? The New Royale. Bond Street. It's Creed. It's from Creed. I love Creed fragrances. I got my boyfriend hooked on Creed fragrances. Green Irish Tweed, one of their most popular, one of the best smelling ones, I think. Um, I think I have spring flowers for ladies. So let's open this up and see what it is. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Um... Oh, a vaulted icon is reborn. Look at that. So this must be a fragrance that they stopped carrying and brought it back. Hold on. Oh my God, you guys. That smells really nice. And I think it's for women. I'll have to research and find out if this fragrance is for women. Royal Mayfair by Creed. Go check it out. Uh, Creed is an amazing fragrance. I know it's sold at Saks. I believe it's sold at Bergdorf's and, of course, at um, Creed Boutiques. And I think there's only one Creed Boutique here in the U.S., which is in uh, New York on Madison Avenue, if I'm not mistaken. I've been there a couple of times. It's beautiful. It's very small on the corner, complete glass. Um, but it smells amazing when you walk in there. Um, and they will let you like try out everything. They're not really. All right, moving on to the next thing in this box. So let's see what's in here. Something's opening up so nicely and easily today. How was everyone's day today? I had a pretty decent day. Ooh. A Chanel mascara sample and one of my most favorite skincare items in the world, the Chanel Hydra Beauty Cream. You guys love this. Oh my God, it is amazing. Whether you have combination skin, dry skin, um, if you have oily skin, I would suggest getting their gel version of this, but I need, I don't have really oily skin anymore. The more I age, the drier my skin gets, which I was told that would happen and it actually is. Um, and then they have the, uh, cream riche, which is just a rich cream. It's a lot heavier than just this cream. If you have extremely dry skin, you can try that out, but this one is great. I think it's a great starter. Um, where you can see if you need to go to the gel or to the cream reach. And, mm, I just miss it. I'm so glad to have it in my possession. All right, let's move on to the next thing that was in my mailbox. Oh, hold on. I have another sample. Another mascara. And you know, I was just about to run out of mascara, so this is perfect timing. Ooh, it's from Victoria's Secret. Let's see what's inside. So, you know, Victoria's Secret always sends you a catalog. I typically throw these out so I don't spend any more of my money. Uh, the receipt. Oh, a nice coupon. $10 off my next order of $30 or more. That's pretty sweet. Darn. They always know how to suck you back in. So, I ordered a high-waist swimsuit. And I'll link, um, show you a picture. Of the bottom because the bottom is on back order but here's the top it's called the Latisse I think Bandu top and it comes with straps I had ordered this in a size smaller I had to go up their swimwear for some reason does not mimic um, the like intimates and bra and panty sizes for some reason but anyway 
Hopefully this will fit. So, this is from some collection. I look like a freaking superstar. Maybe a rock star is this. The Incredible Front Close Sports Bra. I've never tried the ones that zip in the front, and it was on um, clearance from their semi-annual sale, so I decided to try it because I love their bras. They're the only well, sports bras in particular. Victoria's Secret has some of the best sports bra in terms of comfort and relying on it to keep you, you know, under control. So I really love that. And when I can get them at a great price, I love it even more. All right, so this is what the bra looks like. Check out the back, you guys. Bling, bling. Big balla, shakala. Yeah. It's awesome. And it's really smooth. It's really nice. I like that. So, and don't you hate when you have to put a sports bra like over your head? So I'm tending to go more towards these types that just unzip and then it just unclips like that, like a typical front closure, you know, intimate bra. Okay, so let's move on to one other item that I got in my Victoria's Secret package today. It's another sports bra. Different style, but it is one that I will not have to go over my head. It's, it's designed more like a traditional bra, and it's gray. I don't know how much I like this. I don't know if I like this detail. I don't know if I like that. I might send that one back. But in case other people are interested, it's supposed to have a flexible underwire. I don't feel an underwire at all. So does flexible underwire mean... It's not really your typical wire underwire. It's an underwire, but it's not wire, which in my opinion, probably, I would guess that it's going to make it more comfortable. And it has a standard back closure like you would find in a traditional bra. So again, I don't have to do the whole over your head thing. I do like that about it. I will try it on. All right, so that concludes what I got from Victoria's Secret in the mail today. And the last item I'm about to open up, I think I know what it is. I am super excited. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. I ran into this when I was in Las Vegas. And I wasn't ever really interested in this item till I was there and just kind of hanging out, looking around. And I was like, gosh. I think I might like to have this and then I came back and stopped you guys videos that have this item and I was like you know what I need it it went from I think I might like it to I want it to I need it in my life so I got on eBay it is second hand and because quite frankly I didn't want to spend the money that Louis Vuitton is requesting this is Louis Vuitton piece that Louis Vuitton is requesting for the type of item that it is um, I just I don't think it's worth what they're asking just to be quite frank with you so I found um, someone that was willing to sell it for the price I was willing to pay so we made a nice little marriage um, and let's open it and see what it is and it is from Japan and again I live here in the southeast of the US this came from Japan I swear to you guys it got here quicker than the stuff than people send me from other states here in the US like less than a week amazing I will also link their uh, that seller information below. All right, let's get to it. You know, I visited Japan once, and she just submitted the receipt. Oh, little thank you notes. How cute! I can smell that crazy guy. I might be getting that for Christmas. I might ask for that for Christmas. I really want it. All right. Something small. And it's a bag charm. I mean, isn't that lovely? Oh, my gosh. I forgot the name of it, though. I think it's like Flor de, Flor de Monogram. Charm, bag charm. And what drove me to really go from a I like that to a want to a need and to a have to have it is the fact that it not only can be worn on your bag, um, you know, like so from Speedy 
I call them ears, but from a speedy handle to speedy handle, you can clasp it like so and hang it like that on those bags that where you can't, it won't meet. Um, I don't know if the Neverfull is one where it won't meet, but there are some bags, you know, where the handles are just too far apart. It just, it won't work for this purpose. Um, I could use it as a keychain. I will not because I don't want to scratch it, but I could. Uh, the other possibility that, this is the one that sold me on, that you can wear it as a bracelet, you guys. Is that not too cute? That is too cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it. But um, that concludes uh, my mailbox reveal. It's all the things I got in the mailbox today. And quite frankly, I don't know if they all came today, but I haven't been to my mailbox in a couple of days. So they came between yesterday and today, but I just physically pick them up today and I wanted to share them with you first. So thank you for partaking in this experience with me. Um, let me know if you like videos like this and I'll keep doing them because and it's just sometimes random stuff but I don't mind sharing it with you if you want to listen and watch. Uh, but please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you wish and I will check you guys soon. Toodles!